We organized Change Talk into four different categories, and you can remember this by the acronym DARN. DARN stands for D, Desire, A, Ability, R, Reasons, and N, Needs. So when we hear somebody say, I really need to change, that's Change Talk, because they're talking about need. If we hear somebody say, I really want to change, I, I just really, really want this, that's also change talk. It seems really simple, but it's not easy because usually when someone is unsure about change, we tend to hear a mixture of change talk, one of those darn statements, the four darn statements, um, and a little bit of sustained talk. So let me give you an example. I really want to quit smoking but it's the only thing that helps me feel relaxed at the end of the day. I really want to quit smoking, but it's the only thing that helps me feel relaxed at the end of the day. Usually when we hear somebody say something like that, we focus on the sustained talk, the negative part. So the sustained talk in that example was the reason for not changing. It's the only thing I do that helps me de-stress at the end of the day. But we did hear a tiny bit of change talk. I really want to quit smoking. So our task is to use rabbit ears and to really listen for those tiny bits of change talk and then to reflect that back and strengthen it in our participants. Oh. It sounds like you have a strong desire to stop smoking. When we reflect that back, that encourages somebody to continue talking about the desire. And simply by having that person talk and use change talk, they're actually more likely to change. How cool is that?